Hey guys, what is up? Maya here, and today we're going to be continuing our playthrough of Project Zomboid. So, last time we were playing, we ended up kind of, you know, stuck at our old fortress, our old home at the diner, and we need to get back home. So, we found ourselves two fire axes, which is just great, but, you know, now we need to get back, and we're actually having a little bit of trouble with, with hauling the weight. So, this time around, I'm going to level into sprinting just because I know we're going to need that skill to get back in one piece uh, especially with the extra weight that we're going to be carrying around with us so yeah there you go quite a heavy load carrying a little bit too much so I've already dropped off one of my fire axes and it was in the bin back there and I mean I do have a whole heap of other things in here I probably could get rid of you know I think I might get rid of the hammer just because there's like literally like a hundred zombies outside my house that have a hammer on them. And what about these magazines? No, they don't weigh too much. I don't particularly need the sugar. Okay, sheets. We do not need eight sheets. Because once again, that's just another thing that we can kind of pick up really easily, uh, you know, from the zombies outside of our house. So we've only got the one sheet now. Still a heavy load, but, you know, we might be able to reduce that if we eat some food. And... what? Oh, come on, not this bog again. Okay, be right back one sec, guys. Okay, so we are back. There is this weird bog in this version of the game that keeps getting me stuck on things. Usually it was only ever stuck on doors, but for some reason I got stuck somewhere else that time. Anyway, doesn't matter, Let's let's keep playing. And some of you guys might have seen today that I actually posted a new mod spotlight video, and that was on um, a farming mod for Project Zomboid. And it's it's looking pretty awesome. Um, I did have some questions, people asking, you know, whether or not I was going to use that mod at... I can hear someone walking. Can they hear me? I'm not sure. Okay, it's gone away, so we're just gonna go back, keep eating our food. We'll eat some frozen peas. Um, take that apple as well. So we're still carrying a little bit too much. Anyway, um, I went a little bit off topic there. So yeah, people ask me, you know, whether or not I was going to be using this Project Zomboid farming mod in my current playthrough, and the answer to that is no, because at the moment the mod is pretty awesome. What it does is basically allows you to plow the ground, plant things. It'll grow. You can like harvest them, get more seeds back. But at the moment, it's a little bit imbalanced, so it's a little bit overpowered, and I think that's just for testing purposes. But, you know, as soon as the mod is kind of at a point where I can use it in this game, I'm definitely going to be using the farming mod, because it's going to be lots of fun, it's going to add lots to the game. But, you know, at this point in time, it's just a little bit too OP for me. I mean, I don't want to go through and drink all my sodas, but holy crap, that just worked. So now I'm down to a half my half my maximum carrying weight and my guy seems to be pretty okay with that so with that I mean I guess we have to kind of make our journey back and I, it's gonna be so much easier now to actually deal with these zombies now that I have the fire axe <sighs> holy crap where is that guy I wanna try to find a survivor and because I always hear them shooting, but as soon as I hear them shooting, I can never actually see them. Ho oh, ho! Holy crap! Keith Martin, you are... He's bleeding. So I was, I was actually right, I've seen these... Oh, he just died, okay. Okay. Oh my god. Holy crap! Okay, so that definitely looks like that was... Oh, hell no. Hell no, we're not going up that way. That definitely looks like the horde that was actually outside our house, because it hasn't migrated too far. It's still pretty nearby. So I'm just going to try sneak around the back, and I could have just went through the entrance. And that is not where I wanted to go. Oh. 
It's not too bad though. I was able to bypass, you know, the largest majority of them, largest portion. And look at that. This whole place is actually deserted. Last time when we ran through, it was completely packed with zombies. But not anymore. And of course I've got that boarded off so I can't get through there myself. But wow, I think we got pretty lucky there. Because that Keith guy actually led them, you know, uh, away from my home. Even though he kind of led them to me when I was running away. It made it a lot easier to get back home. Jesus, is there a zombie in here? Alright, now I need to figure out how to get outside. And I'm actually going to have to run around the side here go the long way around but that's okay because we're home now uh, we can actually afford to take out most of these zombies we no longer have to worry about durability or anything like that because this axe is going to last us forever and I'm feeling so much better already and look at this can openers thanks to everybody who pointed that out in the comments below uh, yesterday when I couldn't find a can opener anywhere and I had like 10 downstairs okay so let's get away from there now and head out here so what I still want to do is actually board that area off I've had a few people telling me that you know I could extend this wall here over to that door but I guess the main purpose of really sealing this area off was not so I'd have access to that building, but it was so I'd have access to all of these trees down there, because they're really, they're really well separated, they're going to be really easy to farm in you know, comparison to all of the trees up here, which aren't as easy anymore. <sighs> so unfortunately we still don't have a sledgehammer, but as long as we you know, place our things correctly, we should be, we should be safe. And you know what I'm actually going to try to do? I'm going to try build my stairs right now and place them properly this time around. Because, you know, I also had questions in the comments of people wanting me to show off building on the second level. So I will try get that done for you today. And that hammer that I dropped on the ground because I said there's a million hammers everywhere. Now we don't have one. Alrighty. So let's just drop that off, drop the axe off, drop the shotgun, shotgun shells, the saw, and we'll take the canned soup and the candle just so we can see all of our items. Okay then, let's head upstairs, let's get ready for bed. Home sweet home, actually just one more thing. Holy crap, the comments seriously lately they've been just crazy with, you know, all of these all of these different suggestions. And where was it exactly? I think it might have been upstairs. And somebody said that they they saw my body just just the you know, just the body part of it. Not much else. Like you could barely see it. It was kind of covered up by a counter. And I can't remember where exactly that was. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm not even sure at the moment. I'll have to look for it another day. But hopefully, yep, there we go. There's our hammer that I was talking about. Hopefully we should be right. Jesus, that zombie sounds close. What I actually would like to do is kind of get these zombie bodies out of my house. So at the moment, there is no mechanic for it. It's not going to make a difference whether it stays in the house or not. But, just my own peace of mind, it would be great if I could move these bodies out. At least onto the street or something. So I don't have to sleep in the same house as them. Anyway, enough of that. Let's head to bed. Okay, so we have leveled up, and you know what? I think I'm going to go into swinging, just to get that skill up again like I had last time, just to help out with the use of the fire axe a bit. And we 
woke up starving. But you know what? We are. Hello, my spiked baseball bat repaired itself. We are in an abundance of food at the moment. That can opener has opened us up to a whole new world of food. Can soup. But that apple actually filled me up almost all the way, so I'm just gonna not bother about that at the moment because I really just want to get out there and start working on my house again. Oops, okay, there we go. This time around it will work. And I never ate that bread. There we go. So if we... Where's my hammer? There we go. Okay, so we got our first story of stairs. And I swear, this is just going to be a repeat of last time. Where these crazy-ass survivors just run around and draw the horde straight back to where we live. I mean, I think I was pretty good last time. I actually, you know, I tried to save that Keith guy. I tried to yell out to him. I tried to help him. But, you know, I think we might have been a little bit too late. What the hell happened to my stair? Okay, so the problem that I had last time was actually I placed it here. And that doesn't work. You actually have to place it back one more, apparently. So let's, let's try this out. Hopefully this will work this time. And look at that. It worked. Excellent. I think we should be able to walk out into the second one. So at the moment, we've kind of got this great vantage point. And wow, that zombie saw me. Okay, we'll get back downstairs. But the issue last time was that I built the staircase just one block too close. And that little floorboard that I'm standing on now was actually, you know, out here where I'm standing. And, you know, that doesn't work. Oh shit, that zombie's tapping on that window. But I'm not gonna worry too much about that just at the moment. I would like to get some flooring down. Okay, so let's, let's just try this out. Ah, uh, that's right. My mistake, I left my nails back at the house. Did I? No? Let's try it out like this this time. Yeah, there we go. Now we can build floorboards. So when you go up to this next layer now, we should be able to build them. There we go. So much better already. I mean, this is what I was talking about, the sky bridges as well. I can just build this. I could build this on top of the bank, actually, if I wanted to. And I think I might. But I do have to be careful because every single time I do this, uh, I do draw a little bit of unwanted attention. So I tell you what, let's let's go out and deal with those zombies quickly, just so they don't break anything down. That's important. Is there any more there? No, oh, there's only one. I thought I saw more come over. That's it. This place is almost completely deserted now. I say it feels kind of weird. Kind of lonely, actually. Okay, actually, because it's so safe, we could actually just start cutting down, you know, wooden planks. Because we've got a whole heap of trees over here that we could actually get pretty easily. Okay, so we've got ourselves 15 logs at the moment, and while I want to keep building this place up, what I'm actually mainly interested in at the moment is getting over to that bank. So we might have to go up a little bit higher, but one, two, so if I just kind of 
went out a few more. So I think we'd need about 30 or 40 wooden planks to get over there. Just a, just a rough estimate. It's a little bit harder to count the cells in the air. And two more to go. We're getting pretty exhausted. But that's that's cool. Um, do we have anything that we can eat? Not not really. Let's just drink some soda. Give us a bit more energy. And one more. Okay, there we go. So that's all that done. We've got the boring part over with now. So I'm just going to go grab my wheelie bin, bring it back. I think I did have it over here, but the zombies, they kept pulling on it. And now it's all the way down here. Yeah, look how empty it is. There's always zombies down here. Maybe they've learned their lesson after all of their failed attempts. Alright, there we go. So let's just get this in position now. And last one, okay. Let's fill this bin up, take it back, and start working on our bridge. So we've got 30 logs, so hopefully that will be enough for what we need to do. Uh, if I can just get behind this properly. And there's the survivor again. I always get comments, people tell me, you know, why don't I make friends with the survivors? And it's just because they always do that. Maybe if there's a way to take their shotgun shells off them, or just their shotgun, and just give them a quiet weapon, but... It honestly seems like having them around would do me more harm than any good. There we go. But actually, you know what? I needed to get inside anyway. I needed to place these down on my own. So if I can just get my hammer back. Get up these stairs before I injure myself too much. And then we can just start placing them down with... Oh. That was... that was stupid. That was really stupid. I actually forgot to get my saw, so we have to walk all the way back now. And look at that. Okay, so how much do they weigh at the moment? They weigh 300. I wonder if they actually get lighter once we cut them. I think they do. So we're 60, 60 pounds, 60 kilos, whatever it is, lighter than what we were before, so that's alright. So 30, what, so they're about 2 kilos lighter per each one, and I saw something moving out there. But, ah, uh, jeez. Oh, hell no, they better not be coming in my house. I'm, try I'm trying to communicate with them, but I don't... ...really know how it works. I'm gonna put my mouse over him, he's... Oh! This is what I mean, this is what I mean. Point, point proven, right there.
and oh no, I'm gonna be a few short. Holy crap, I've never seen all of these, like this many survivors before, but they've just gone and led the horde straight back to me. Oh man, not again. Okay, so this is as far as we're going to get. We're probably going to need to go out again tomorrow, but... Jesus, they brought with them so many zombies. It's going to be a pain having to deal with them. But... I'm not feeling too bad about this. I mean, we should be pretty secure in our safe house. We have... Well, they've got to get through like four doors before they can even get to us. Actually, it's more than that. At minimum, it's maybe four. Let's 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 count this out. So in that other room, we've got one door that's not barricaded. So they've got to get through that one. Two. Three. And four. So at minimum, if they go the easiest possible way to get to me, they have to get through four doors before they even come close. So I'm not feeling too worried at the moment. I mean, it's a little bit scary. That's, that's actually very scary, but, oh man, that actually gave me goosebumps, but you know, we're, we're going to be fine. Let's actually go through, cut up our watermelon into slices. Note, this is a clean knife, I haven't used this one before, so we don't have to worry about any zombie blood or anything like that. And we'll make sure to check that it doesn't go rotten. Alright, so with that, it is midnight. I stayed out a little bit too long. But uh, if you guys like this episode, be sure to give it a thumbs up, favorite, and subscribe. And, you know, I'll be back tomorrow with another episode, as well as some DayZ as requested.